Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the Random Geek channel um, where I review the best budget tech and gadgets that you've probably never heard of and that you probably didn't know that you needed. And this is a rather surprise unboxing and first impressions because it was something that I wasn't expecting to actually get and it was rather an impulse buy. And I'm going to share it with you guys um, because this is what I do in my channel. So this crazy big giant box is the Cell Timo um, 1.0 electric mic. So you can see here. And for those viewers um, down under, um, you would probably recognize this as an Audi special buy. Um, so this is a flash product. And for everyone that's um, playing along, and doesn't live in Australia. Um, so Audi is a giant German retailer that entered the Australian market way back in 2001. So I actually had to look this up and they're a wholesaler. So if you're living in uh, America, they're basically like Costco. Uh, so their stores are about 10 times smaller but their big advantage is they're pretty much everywhere. So in urban areas, you will find them uh, one of these stores in pretty much every single suburb. So like Costco, they operate like a wholesaler. Um, so if you've got boxes of stuff everywhere, um, so they're in tote boxes, they're in the original packaging, and they pretty much undercut the two main wholes, um, retail chains in Australia, which is Woolies and Coles. And the fact that they've been doing it for 20 years, I I really did not, I, I couldn't believe it was actually 20 years. Um, it's been that long um, that, that they've been really successful in the Australian market. And they've, um, yeah, they've actually made their two main retailers um, keep an eye on them. So by the way, this is not a sponsored video. Um, I'm not speaking for Aldi. I'm not related to them and um, or associated them in any way or form. Um, so just a heads up for the story, um, I buy all my products um, out of my own pocket. Um, maybe one day I am um, probably sponsored by someone, but I pretty much do this as a hobby um, pretty much. So my reviews are pretty much what I think uh, of what they are. So anyway, um, one of the reasons why Audi works is, um, just to give you a heads up, is they have weekly special buys and basically okay, I'm just saying basically a lot but they have pretty decent deals on on, on quality products um, for really crazy prices and most of these times you're scratching your head and, and thinking how the hell did they um, achieve these prices uh, so one thing's first this e-bike actually launched in December 14th 2019 and it was sold out everywhere, literally on launch. Um, like most stores would only hold um, a couple of these bikes and people would actually line up. And in the first like 20 minutes, these things sold out in pretty much every single store. So um, pretty much before launch, they leaked out a bit of advertising that this was actually gonna be out. Um, they had um, just local, um, um, viewers actually um, used the bike for several months so bike radar actually did a to review on this and they gave it a four out of five and they were really impressed with what you got um, so I was stuck, um, reading up about it from following along um, when it flashed up on my feed I really didn't bother because I'm buying it at launch because it pretty much sold out anywhere and I'm busy I've got work and by the time I, I checked it out, it was pretty much, yeah, gone everywhere. So, I didn't get this at launch, but the, uh, the thing is that this bike launched at um, 999 Australian dollars. So, that's right. You get a pretty decent bike um, here, and it's launched under 1,000 Australian dollars. So put that in context, most e-bikes bikes, um, will start at, at um, roughly 1500 Australian dollars and spike up to that and you can get bikes that cost more than your vehicle. So to put that in context, 
that's uh, 685 Australian dollars as of the moment, um, roughly 895 um, Canadian, and about um, 520 um, pounds, so it's British sterlings. So that's that's crazy talk. That's that's holy moly. Um, and it was even better. Um, so I lived in an actual rural area, so I actually traveled in to actually do some bit of actual groceries. And I popped into my nearest store, uh, which unfortunately is miles away. And they were doing a flash sale and they still had stock. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. And it was even better. I got this at 799, so 800 Australian dollars. So that brings the price even firmer to about 450 um, US. Um, and about um, 419 pounds, if my maths is correctly. So that it's, it's been significantly marked down. And the funny thing was, I was driving my wife's um, this little hatchback at the time, and I was like, "Holy crap! Uh, this thing's enormous!" And I made an impulse decision. And to be honest, that was one of the most uncomfortable rides home I've ever done. So I managed to pull, uh, fold down the seats, um, managed to squeeze it in, um, the, the actual driving seats, managed to push it back, and oh my god, um, yeah, don't do what I like, look like what I did, okay? Uh, okay. So the thing is, why I'm bringing this up, and especially if you don't live in Australia, um, and given the fact that this thing sold out everywhere, is why should you be excited? Um, the thing is, Audi um, is quite a large international brand and they operate in roughly about 20 countries, I believe. Um, so it's very likely if you live in the UK, Europe or China, this is very likely and it's very, very high chance given how well it sold in Australia, it, it pretty much sold out um, like hotcakes. So there's a very, very, very high chance that in the next couple of months, this is, will be launching in your territory. So just a heads up, but you're gonna get this crazy, awesome bike for literally 800 Australian dollars. And given the fact that that's probably half the price of a like an, an, an average e-bike, that's gonna be crazy. And the thing is, this is not a generic e-bike either. So you like, like you can go on eBay, you, you can go on another site and buy a generic like electric bike. This isn't the case. Um, this is a brand name bike, and it's a very um, well known um, local Australian brand, which is the um, Selb e-bikes here. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna um, have a have a look at it. So. For those Australians that have actually missed out on this deal, you know that, um, you're probably aware that um, Audi Special Buys, they do uh, um, operate um, for products that actually sold extremely well, they will repeat the sales two to three times a year. So you will get your chance to actually get this because I believe this will be coming back, um, there's no doubts about it. So. And the actual thing is, um, I actually hopped online um, when I was actually looking at reviews. Besides from the written reviews, there is hardly any video reviews on this product at all. So, so, so for probably the, 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 the first and only time that this will probably happen, um, the Random Geek is going to give you the first video review of any product ever. Um, as I'm a I pretty much do this as a hobby and I've only got limited funds. So I'm just giving you a heads up, but I, yeah, I, I probably won't be the first reviewer of any tech product ever. But what I do promise is a very, very comprehensive reviews on the products that I do. And I do take my time. So so just um, keep your eye on the actual playlist and I, and I update every single couple of days um, at best, um, given my time schedule, okay? So this is gonna be funny, and who knows? Um, it's maybe one day I'll, I'll, I'll be the first in there. So I thought I'd give you a, a little backstory on who cell bikes are um, for you guys who don't. Um, I in the actual know. So, so cell bikes 
they're pretty much a local um, e-bike um, brand that launched in Sydney and they've been operating since 2002. So they started um, selling it in the local markets in Sydney uh, from an actual store when they set up an actual company. And uh, so once again, I'm not affiliated with Cell Bikes and Malls. I'm, I'm, I'm not spooking their actual product. I just believe that their bikes are, are actually pretty good. And so it's nice to see that Audi actually selected actual company that's been in the in in this in this industry particularly um, since the start. So um, they've pretty much started in 2002 and they operated in 2017. So they sold um, I think um, over 10,000 e-bikes in, in Australia. So pretty um, like a smallish big um, company and they were actually quite well received and they actually launched um, a bunch of models so their base model which is the um, Ultimo here which you probably got here we also saw the the Omeo, the Victor, the um, Strelomo and the uh, the, Ab the Abwa I think it was and I think their, their performance model was the Panswix models that they sold um, so long story short, these guys actually sold out um, and they went under new management, the, the original owners actually left. And they went quiet for about a year and it turns out that they, um, Audi actually picked them up and relaunched them under the Audi flag. So you actually can only buy these bikes um, either um, on the actual special buys or I, I believe you can buy them online if they've got stock as well. And the interesting thing is they're launching a brand new performance. Um, sorry, um, my camera just shifted because I'm actually just, just holding it in my hand here. Just sitting in the corner of this um, spare room. Um, obviously I'm getting sidetracked again. So they're launching a brand new line of performance bikes. Um, I think this year. So keep an eye out on that. So the thing is, um, if you guys are probably aware of the e-bike, industry has blown up over the last um, couple of years so pretty much every single Tom Dick and Harry um, and pretty much every single entre entrepreneur these days has launched their own e-bike brand the margins of these are normally pretty high um, it's very similar to what happened to the, the electric scooter market or if you ride electric skateboards which I do you know that Brands have, have pretty much launched, come and gone. So it's nice to see that um, they went with a, a pretty well known actual brand here. So pretty much we've got a legacy brand with a bit of history and they have a lot of experience in the field. So their paths are gonna be pretty good. So I've been blabbing for a bit and you've probably been reading what's been labeling on the box here. Um, so I, I don't give like a little backstory on what goes on before we get into the um, snitty um, gritty. So, first thing that we're gonna do is. All right, sorry. Lost my track of my hair, but anyway, so what we're gonna do is, um, what I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna give you some points and hints. We're gonna go around the actual box. I probably won't, I'll probably skip the, uh, the actual unboxing video um, and then do the unboxing part. So I'll open it up and I'll pull everything out and then I'll jump back into the second part of this video and I'll show you what's in it and I'll have a little chat about what's in the box and the parts that you get. But you probably won't see me um, go in and, and, and take the stuff out because you probably won't want to see a, a middle-aged man struggling. Um, if you watch my unbox videos, uh, I'm not very good at unboxing things. And given that I've got bad knees and a pretty bad back, um, you probably would, don't want to see me huffing and puffing and struggling to get things out. But don't worry, I'll, I'll be going through the actual box and what's in it and I'll be running through everything that I've seen. And probably in the next video, once I've got the actual bike assembled, I will run through the, um, the features of the bikes, the actual parts and what I think of every single little detail. And probably after that, we'll have a little ride around and, and I'll tell you what I believe. Okay. So, first things first, 
um, if you are buying this don't do what I did um, be prepared and don't be uh, and don't buy it on an impulse buy um, yeah I, I'm normally just not an impulse buy I normally do my research but when I saw this and I knew that it was a good product I was like screw it I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it so if you're gonna buy this bring a ute or a truck or whatever you want to call it um, probably like an SUV or a transport van because this thing is goddamn massive um, I wasn't expecting it to be this um, big so I've actually measured this box out for you so the bike comes partially assembled so you do have to go in and assemble the bike so just a heads up but the box measures um, so first thing I'm going to um, call it out in centimeters so this is 140 seven centimeters by 86 by 23 so this is massive this is about the size that you'll get if you are buying probably a, bit, a 55 inch um, tv so roughly about the same size so those guys playing in the empirical system that's 55 inches um 34 inches and it's nine inches thick so make sure that you've got the space and don't be like me and be an idiot and just look like a midget driving a clown car um, transporting an elephant. Um, so this Ultimo, um, it only comes in one size, so it, but it does come in two variants here. And the two variants are, is obviously the step through um, urban e-bike model and you've got your standard classic model which, which has a crossbar on it. So they both function the same way, so don't worry, regardless of which um, which bike you choose, they will function the same way. The only difference is is the bike frame slightly different with the, the crossbar. Um, so obviously this is the step through model and the reason why I got through the step through model, that's the, currently the um, the more updated the, um, the design that's going out there, it's the um, touch design. And I also got the step free model because my wife will also be sharing this mic. She she saw it and she said, oh, I'm gonna buy this as well. And the great thing is it's she's much shorter than I am. So you can see that the that the rider height on the box is 154 to 187 um, um, centimeters. And you've also got a rider um, inseam as well. So so just a heads up there. So I so she's at 160 centimeters. So she fits right in this bike. Obviously, I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit taller. So this is going to work. So quickly, we're going to run through the box. So I'm going to move her head up here, and we're going to have a look what's in the front first. We're going to know of a nice um, lady in the advertisement here, and we're going to go through the box here. So first things first, um, so we've got on the front, we've got a powerful 250 watt pedal assist. Um, so right out of the box, this is a pedal assist only. So don't be expecting that it's gonna be a throttle one here. So you will have to pedal on this bike and unlike um, high end e-bikes, this doesn't have a combination of a pedal assist or a throttle system. So you're still gonna to have to put some work in to um, get it riding. So next things, we've got a seven speed Shimano um, um, drivetrain here. So this is a nice little touch. Um, they've actually went with a, a brand name here. I'm assuming it's it's a pretty basic um, um, Shimano drivetrain that I've got here, but it's nice it's nevertheless. Uh, so where it gets interesting is you see that it's got an um, entity system. So that's a 374 watt smart battery. You've got an entity LCD. Um, so first things first, um, 375 watt hours. It's a fairly decent sized battery. Okay, so it's, it's not the best of class. It's, it's, it's not the worst of class. It's pretty much in the middle there, but the actual fact that they went with an, an entity um, system. And before, um, for those who are not in the know, um, the um, entity brand, um, so they're pretty much an Australian brand as well. And what they do is they do bike accessory and parts. So if you're thinking about building your own e-bike or buying parts for um, their e-bikes, um, so 
so they so they supply parts and and, and and products and they're pretty much famous for their polygon actual bike brand um, so a pretty decent actual bike brand there so that's a pretty big deal um, they went with a brand and name product um, so I believe this bike is based on the entity um, e200 um, 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 platform here also you get a integrated um, app um, in this um, product here, so um, Entity actually um, had come up with their own app, so you can download that from the iOS and the Android um, store. Um, so this is going to be interesting because I've never just used their app before. So, like most people, when I go riding, I normally will use the Strava or the Ride app. Um, but I'm curious to see what the, the app, app um, allows you to do. Um, whether it's um, like you get to find tube um, param parameters on the, the hub motor or it's a mapping and metrics or maybe we are well, actually at um, battery um, metrics itself because their smart batteries is, is actually quite interesting um, but we'll go that um, to when we actually um, open it up as well so I like it having a button there um, and um, so well, first things first, um, you've got integrated front rear brake lights, that should be standard um, on all bikes. And <laughs> the funny thing on the bottom here is they've got, always wear a helmet. Um, yes, people, I don't care who or what you are, um, if you're riding professionally or if you're just fooling around. Safety first, guys. Um, hitting your head on pavement <laughs> or into a vehicle is no laughing matter. I'm laughing now, but um, I've, I've done it. I've, I've stacked it plenty of times. Um, riding, you know, screws and e-bikes, and yep, helmets have saved my life on several occasions. Don't ride without a helmet. Okay, so we're going to move up to the actual top here. And first things first, we've got a big caution dis disclaimer here. Um, yes, you will have to assemble this bike, and. I'll be waiting on how easy um, it is to assemble this bike based on the manual. I believe there is a video from, from Cell Bikes, but it's pretty rudimentary and um, I'm going to go through it like an actual person who hasn't built an e-bike before, so I, I, I might be interesting to um, see if, um, yeah, if a person who hasn't built it before, so I, I might drag my, my wife in there and, and we'll see what she thinks of um, building the actual bike itself. Um, actually, think about it now. I don't want to do that. Um, I value my life, um, my life here, and it's like building IKEA um, products. Um, don't throw caution to the wind. Um, happy wife, happy life, okay? Um, Interesting on the actual bottom disclaimer, in the interest of safety, it's recommended that you have a skilled bike mechanic actually um, put this together. <sighs> Realistically, a person who bought this from a discount wholesaler is unlikely going to be dragging this to your bike shop. So, lucky for me, I've actually built um, several bikes from scratch uh, myself, so I'm, I'm not a really like novice person here, but <laughs> Funny how it's got there. Okay, so we're gonna move on to what's in. So, so it's, it lists on the box. Components to be assembled. So your handlebar and your stem system. You got your front wheel, your seat post, and your pedals. So four things there. Shouldn't be too easy. Most of those will screw on quite well. Um, so we're gonna move on to tools required for assembly. So. You've got your 6 mili, um Allen keys and your 15 mili, mili, millimeter spanner set. So the good news is reading the asterisk, uh, pretty much the 6 um, millimeter hex and the spanner kit is included into the product. So technically you shouldn't need any extra tools to put this together. But you, you, if you read on the actual bottom here, in the fine print here, they do recommend you use a torque wrench. So I definitely have EBs. Um, I'm going to be head to the actual to garage and pull out my tool set, and I'll grab that to make it a bit easier. Next thing is the box contents. You've got your bicycle system, so your full bike here. So I'm assuming that's the bike with everything. Your pedal box, which 
contains your your pedals, your reflector, and your bell. So you're gonna have to put those onto the handlebar. Uh, next thing, you've got your owner uh, manual and your warranty card. Um, heads up, you do get a two-year warranty when you buy this. So not only is it protected under a 12-year um, Australian warranty, but you also get a, a, a two-year warranty um, directly from sell bike. So if anything happens, um, I'll, be, I'll be bringing this back. <laughs> Also, um, LD does have a 60-day um, satisfactory guarantee. So if you bring this in after 60 days and you don't like it, you can bring this straight um, back to the actual store and get a full refund, no questions asked. So it's actually great. So it's pretty awesome there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is... Yeah, well, hopefully the owner's manual is pretty much better than the... TGI one one um, that I um, did previously, um, so I think I'm still um, uploading videos for that one. And you get a nice, you get a charger in the box. Um, pretty useless to have an e-bike without a charger in it. I'm just curious to wonder what voltage and amperage the actual charger is, and if it's gonna be um, like your standard um, like e-bike um, models or your electric skateboard, so I can add like another power adapter there, or if I forget the one that's in the box, maybe I can use the one that I just used for my skateboard. All right, so I'm gonna flip the actual box around, um, cause it's quite heavy and I'm holding a camera here. And we're gonna have a quick um, look at around the actual box. So I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay guys, back again. So I've, I've spun the box around and we're gonna have a look at some specs. Um, on the actual box before we do anything else. So I'm gonna ignore this side here, so that just lists some of the specs that I wanna um, highlight as well in picture form, not too important. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit more detail over here, which lists the main specs that you, that you get on this bike. So I'm gonna have a little squeeze back through here and we're gonna focus here and we're gonna have a very, very quick chat because I know this video is getting pretty long. So first things, we've got a um, routed alloy, and they say that's lightweight. Um, I believe that this is roughly 24 kilograms, so 52 pounds um, in empirical. So we've got your standard wheels here. You've got your 20 inch um, by 1.7 inches, and it's a tubble ward um, um, alloy rim here. So. In centimeters, that's obviously 66 and about, I think, 4.4 centimeters, I believe, correctly. Um, if I do my math correctly in my head, yeah. So, I can see that it's standard actual spokes on the wheel here. So, I believe that should be 36 spokes in there. Um, maybe I'll have a look at the hubs. It looks like 15, um, 15 mil hubs there. Um, I will check if the um, spokes are actually tight on and um, if they're actually lubed up because if, if your um, spokes aren't actually lubed up, um, especially in, in the wet um, driving conditions, you don't have a bit of hair. Um, so what you've got there, you've got, um, so you've got adjustable alloy in your hand handlebar, stem and steep face. It's it, 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 <laughs> very rarely emphasizing this whole um, alloy thing. Uh, they don't really tell you what type of alloy it is. What is it? Is it alum Is it a, a aluminum? Is it magnesium? It's possibly it's it's, it's aluminum. Um, it's, it's probably the cheapest material here. So you've got your saddle here, which is it looks like a pretty squishy saddle, very generic there. Um, see how it rides and see how it feels on on. On your bottom, and if you get chafing on it, it looks pretty generic. It should be really easy to um, switch out if you don't like it. So things here. So you've got your brakes, George. So you've got your V brakes here. So obviously V brakes. Uh, that's the Shimano trademarked um, um, linear um, um, brakes there. Nothing too special there. Um, obviously, that we went with V-brakes. It's the most cost-effective um, brake system that you want to get here. Really interesting electronic cutoff system. So 
that's motor inhibitors on I wonder if it's on both sides if it's on both handlebars we'll have to check that out on the box you can't really tell um, it seems like on the right hand I think there's a motor inhibitor on there in the picture in there but um, once I pull out the bike we're gonna have a quick um, just look at um, that there so obviously you got your dry trade your battery and your controller or entity branded 374 watt hour that's pretty decent um, 374 uh, Watt hours at 36 volts. That's a smart battery as well, so I believe that's uh, 10S2P given the size. That's just my guess, but I'll have a deeper look into that. Also has a, um, it's Bluetooth enabled, so it's battery management system and Bluetooth. I believe you should be able to, to see um, the battery health in the app. And maybe a bit more but we'll check that out obviously motor is a 36 watts to um, 36 volt 250 watt um, rear hub motor um, rear hub obviously come on you aren't going to be expecting a speed drive um, um, motor at this price point you know, I said this is under a thousand dollars sine wave controller so big bumpers up there LCD display looks like a pretty basic unit here if you see up there looks pretty basic there uh, so yeah I'll be checking out see how easy um, you, you will be able to use that and um, obviously ease of news um, great but they've actually added um, USB to charge point there so if you're going to be mounting a phone on there uh, and using that for charging or if you're planning on using this for like like Uber Eats or if you're doing the um, delivery guys, um, it's a nice little touch there. Most um, um, e-bikes will actually skimp out on the on the charge point there because obviously changes the natural voltage from 36 to to um, five volts. Most people don't bother. It's, it's an extra cost, but nice that's actually in there. Um, and also we get a entity charging bank. So once again. Um, Branded charger bit, and as, as you can see here, it's actually uh, two amps um, charging brick. So I'm assuming you'll get a 42 um, volt um, um, charging adapter there. So okay, so I've waffled on for I think roughly about <laughs> close to 30 minutes now. Let's open up this bad boy, and in the interest of time, as I said, um, I'm not going to be shooting myself unboxing this because one thing this video will be super super long another thing <laughs> I'm pretty old I've got really bad knees and um, yeah it's one of the reasons why I, I was looking at e-bikes is um, I used to be a hardcore uh, hardcore um, cyclist uh, many many years back but obviously I've, I'm now due to health issues I've got bad knees bad back and I was looking I was like, I, I wouldn't really like to actually get back into riding and if this is going to help me out this, this is going to be a big thumbs up um, especially you know those guys there's riders who are older who do who have health problems or to mobility problems e-bikes um, are an interesting way to actually go and you might better get into it I know the my hardcore cyclists are going to say that's just crazy talk like don't even talk to me about e-bikes but um, this industry is growing like people want these products and it'd be nice for someone like me he was a bit older and I know that my viewers are in the the older actual um, age brackets so I feel like I'm actually in um, company um, quality um, in um, a group of my peers um, especially my subscribers um, I've, I've looked at the numbers and my viewers do tend to be in the the older actual um, age bracket, um, so I feel I'm pretty comfortable talking to you guys. Anyway, um, I'm going to be pulling out uh, so, um, uh, my knife, and we're going to open this box, and we're going to see what's in it. Um, so hold on, and maybe I'll be right back, and we'll run through it quickly. All right, cheers, guys. Be right back. One eternity later. Hi, hey guys. I'm back. Finally got it out of the box. And first things first, um, 
giant staples um, in the box um, completely and it's been sealed probably a bit too well so along the actual side you've got a bunch of staples there the most easiest way to actually get into the box is from the top so if you um, just grab a knife and slice the actual um, the, the actual masking tape on the sides um, I had to grab a pair of pliers to actually um, to pull out these giant um, staples on the box to get it out um, and if you've got a second person, um, just use that second person. I was by myself. Um, the actual wife is actually asleep in um, one of the other rooms. I'm obviously in the spare room in my house. Um, we were actually out at a wedding last night, so we got in pretty late. She's still sleeping it off. Um, so I thought I'll sneak into the back room and shoot this video. So, yeah. So the bike's out of the box. So this is what you get. Uh, this is what it looks like here. Um, I realise that <laughs> this video may be um, getting a bit too long. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly um, have, have a look at the actual bike and I'll sh um, point out just some things that I've noticed. And I might pull things apart and we'll run through what's in the box in um, the next video which I'll load directly after um, this one here. So if you just want to see what's in the box by itself, you can probably just go to that video. I will be uploading the, um, the video in, in a playlist. Um, or maybe not, um, depending on, on how I edit these videos. I haven't really decided yet doing this on the fly. So first things first, it's very well packaged. There was a lot of packing foam in there, um, a lot of cardboard, a little bit of struggle. Oh my god. Um, yeah, you really did not want to see that on camera. I struggled quite a bit. Um, I'm an old man. Oh, my back was killing me. Um, but here we go. So nice thing. You get bungee cords um, with this bike. You got free bungee cords. So if you're thinking about loading anything onto the back tray, that's nice that they've included that. Um, so if you were, had to quickly head to the shops, you can probably um, buy something and actually secure it on there. But nice little add-on there. So kickstand, yes. Um, you, you don't realize how. Um, awesome kickstands are and you, until you don't have one nice little touch here but they've added that onto the back of the bike um, yeah um, most actual bikes will actually um, put that onto the central um, shaft there but eh, it's not the most op op opportune um, um, place to put it because if you're riding or you're um, kicking off there's a chance that it might snag on you um, I find putting it on the back or on the um, on the, the back half a bit better. I should have flipped this bike around. I just realised that because the bending and the will change. But as I said, I'll, I'll be going through this a lot more detail. This is just a rough look of what you get in the box. So I'm assuming the handlebars and the charger and everything's actually in there. You got your user's manual. We're gonna have a look to see how friendly, user friendly the user manual is. You a little cover to protect the um, the actual seat post there. Extra wheel which you're gonna you're gonna be um, putting on. So I've actually attached it with um, Velcro straps. So nice little touch there. Um, if you were ever gonna uh, pack this bike away. Um, personally myself, I'll, I'll probably take these straps and snooze it for something else. Um, always good to have a bit of Velcro around the um, around the place. Looking at the tyres here, they're probably a bit um, underinflated as normal. Pumped up, pumped up with a bike pump shouldn't be too hard of an issue. Handle bars there, which you do have to assemble. Um, strapped on there, we're going to pull it apart. A bit of a um, foam um, protection there so far it's looking pretty nice um wow 800 australian dollars um mud guards here um nice that they've got them they're plastic though um okay uh we'll have a look through there nice alloy v brakes um hub motor definitely a Entity brand hub motor. See if I can get up and focus. Uh -huh. 
okay i've actually got it on um follow me with the gimbal but yeah that's definitely a um entity hub motor that's the yeah, that's the eom 200 yeah so 250 um watt entry these things are about they're 250 on the um entity website so holy moly um even the actual battery um i believe the battery is um in that box there we're gonna have a quick look um in this box up here and the um entity batteries are 650 australian dollars so bargain anyway um i'm gonna pull everything apart and we're gonna continue with this review series um before it gets a bit too long uh anyway um as always give us a, a like a a thumbs up um, press that subscribe button leave us a comment or a question um, if you're looking into this you probably have plenty of questions um, and I will be answering as best as I can smash that subscribe um, notification bell because um, and join the community um, we have a very small community but it seems to be growing and yeah just make this channel grow All right? and I'll see you guys next time rounding geek out cheers boys and girls Thank <laughs> you.